Hey guys, alright, so uh, technical analysis number three, we got um, Ali Reza Yazdanshines, probably botching that name all sorts of ways, but, um, so yeah, I'll just call him Ali for short, um, Ali through for uh, UT Tyler, coached by Chris Stone Street, uh, technical analysis number two, so go take that a look, go give that a look, um, yeah, so getting into it, here's his throw, flat, Nice solid winds. Looks pretty patient throughout the throw. Nice and connected. Uh, one more time. Flat. Yeah, you can hear Chris say flat. I agree with Chris. I think if you, uh, as a whole, you know, especially the first two turns at least, I'd say you want this flat. entry nice and flat, and then uh, you want to work that ball forward. And uh, you can see your head and arms are nice and relaxed, but you kind of, you get a little, almost a little too steep. Uh, I think if you had more direction through one and two, three and four, line up a little bit better, and then you'd uh, end Flat. up with a farther throw. But that's just, a, that's just a start. I mean, you get decent direction, but I could imagine sometimes you have trouble with that sort of, sort of steep Flat. orbit, especially in three and four. But, yeah, just try to flatten out that entry, and I think that'll make some, some big difference. Flatten it out and work it towards 180, get that direction going forward. So let's take a closer look now. Uh, right. Winds are good. You turn back, nice and solid. I'd say maybe sit down just a little bit, bend your knees just a little bit. But, yeah, so entry, you can see right here, your head's already back. Kind of countering the ball. Arms are nice and long, which is good. Working the ball past. Work it past 9 o'clock, coming through, and I think uh, this is your first problem area, is this catch on turn 1. Your right leg, when it goes into turn 1, comes around, once again, you want to get to 180 right about there and think about putting your foot down, so you can get your foot down right about there, as opposed to right there. But you still, honestly, you get in pretty early and uh, catch the ball pretty early in turn one, so that's good. Um, working it through, double support, do a pretty good job. Arms look super long and relaxed. Pretty solid. Left leg bent, you don't stand up on it too much. You could get just a little bit more turn in that right foot. You can see you're kind of just a little bit behind, but I have the same problem, so I don't blame you for it. And then nice double support time, working just in front of 9 o'clock that time. Coming through, same thing as in 1. Ball gets to 180, think about stepping down, stepping forward. As opposed to coming just a little bit around. But still solid catch position. That nice bent left leg, I love that. Um, once again, a nice early catch in 2. Ball is directly behind you. That's an awesome, awesome position. Working it past. Not bad, not bad. Once again, try turning that right foot just a little bit more. Keep that right foot on the ground. This double support is just starting to shorten up just a little bit here. You can see this is probably, what I'd call that, what, maybe 10.30, 10 o'clock, as opposed to 9, which I guess is right there. Um, but yeah, arms are still nice and long throughout the entire throw, keeping that up. I love this active, this, even though, yeah, even though you come around on one and two, your right leg still stays nice and active, which is awesome, so keep that up. And then you can see here, I think this is just a little bit too steep going into turn three. I'd rather see the ball just, like, about there. Like, if this was turn four, I'd say that's great. That's perfectly fine, but I'm sure sometimes you have trouble you know, getting out and throwing the ball outwards through this final, or through the final turn with a steep orbit like that this early. Once again, arms long, dude. Killing it. Keep that up. Red foot's turning. And you can see now here you're up on that left shoulder just a little bit. You're just starting to get a little, a little yank right there on that uh, left shoulder. And then your double support gets this is your shortest double support so far. 
coming off just a little early. If you could work that ball once again to 9 o'clock, you'd be golden. And then, boom, awesome active right knee drive. This is a steep ball you got going right there. And, yeah. So, yeah, one, two, and three, your catches were awesome. You're catching it way back. But four, you catch it, uh, you know, just a little more shallow than you did in the past couple of catches. Um, I think if you if you caught the fourth turn like you caught the previous three turns, I bet you this thing would have been a bomb. Would have, would have dropped a bomb out there. Um, yeah, so try to catch that ball. Once again, I think the same cues as before. Think about stepping forward into each turn. Uh, the rotational forces of the hammer will carry you around. If you start thinking about stepping around, that's when you kind of get this effect right here. Um, but you can see your arms are nice and long still, so that's awesome. I've probably said that about ten times now, but when I watch her throw, that's the one thing that stands out. Um, yeah, and then since you open up in your left shoulder, and even right here, you can see your left leg starts to starts to straighten out just a little bit. If you could stay on this, just sit down a little bit and work the ball past you instead of trying to pull the ball back with your shoulder and kind of straighten this left leg out, work that ball past a nice bent leg, double support around you and out to the sector. I think that'd make a huge difference. Yep, and you can see your head's almost parallel to the ground. That's pretty nuts. Um, and your left shoulder's pulling just a little bit. And since you're up in that left shoulder, this left side's going to get pulled off after the release. Since your center of gravity was more back here, as opposed to balanced 50-50. But still though, dude. Not a bad throw, not a bad throw at all. So, uh, yeah, like I said, maybe try flattening out your entry, especially. Try to stay a little bit flatter through two and three. And then um, step forward into the throw. Don't step around. Boom. You do that, you're going to be throwing, you know, plenty far, plenty far. So... Yeah, nice job, Ali. Uh, looking to see you make these technical changes, because honestly, I think if you did, you'd hit your goal. I think you said 60 meters. I think you got it in ya. Um, yeah, Flat. dude. Flat and forward. That's what you need. All right. Sean Don, signing off. Technical analysis number three. Peace out.